we're back to live. So we just cut one video into this video, guys. We are now going to do roll order for the the uh, I almost call it the Mishra's pack, but I mean it is kind of Mishra's or bus sort of. I don't know how many good cards are in this one, guys. A lot, and a lot of your big money cards are going to be in the uncommon slot. There's no rare slot in this set. No, but if the way it's divvied up, I mean, certain cards are, you said there's U1 and U2. So right. the more common of the uncommons, those will vary between like 450 and 220. Nice. That's what I want to hear. So All your right. big hits are going to be Mishra's, and then there's one underneath mistress that's candelabra. 2000 the candelabra and then after that it, it drops to like 500 down to 250 for your top hits man i hope i don't hit anything hey you've got mistress factory the winner version's like around 500 then uh transmute artifact which is an uncommon it's like around 350 Power Artifact is like 330-ish. Another uncommon. If, if somebody snuck a Bone Flute into mine, I would not be mad. Holy shit, <laughs> Charles ended up into... He snuck into the chat. <laughs> just like out of nowhere. He just snuck right in. No, I've been talking. You just noticed it was me. Oh, that's just probably because you are behaving yourself. Yes, sir. I, I, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Have you ever drank Bailey's from a shoe before? Have I ever drank Bailey's from a shoe? No. Can't say I have. Okay. Do you want to drink Bailey's from a shoe? <laughs> want to go to a club where people... Never mind. I, I can't I can't even go in with old Greg because it's on YouTube, but who knows? <laughs> I mean, whose shoe? Your own shoe or someone else's shoe? Isn't that called a shoey? That's that's just something that salespeople make up to haze other salespeople because it's a fraternity. All right, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this with a beer. I'll be right back. And when Charles gets back, we'll say it's already done. <laughs> two bone flutes one short of a set two bone flutes one sort of a shit shit one sort of a <laughs> shit one short of a shit alright pack looks good I always like to double check them anyways I didn't double check the revised because if someone's going to go through that much effort to try and fuck over a pack of revised uh I mean, have at it. But the Antiquities is a little bit more different. Kind of on the expensive side. Not that we don't already inspect the packs. Just saying, I went a little bit extra. These cards are obviously all off the same sheet. Because they are all, as far as the back goes, not centered worth a shit. I want my money back. <laughs> Refund. <laughs> I mean, at least we are not cutting one of these cards. Yeah. I mean, we could play tap with it. It'd just be really, really expensive. Drop this video a like. Okay. Done. I liked it already. All right, let's go. Uh, did you get yourself the fancy wine? Uh, a stout, but yeah. <laughs> fancy wine. I'm excited. For, I'm excited for Keith. I want Keith to get the hit out of this set. I love everyone to I death. But you know what? Keith goes to Pound Town probably as hard as the rest of us lately. I haven't seen him hit anything good in a while. Dude, those uh, Matt VIPs tonight were kind of weak sauce, so yeah. 
Uh, was he in that? No, I, I don't know if he went in there, but like one of them was Academy Ruins and Batter Skull. The other was mm, I forget nothing, and then uh, sort of Ice and Fire. Uh, Fire and Ice is good. That's the most expensive sword next to Feast and Famine. Yeah. Yeah, it is, but I'm saying like that's not what you want. It's right. it's nice, but. Uh, what the <laughs> shit? Who's listening to Mumble Rap? No, that was like a fucking story thing that popped up on my Facebook. Oh. Mm. Well, it must be the tickety talks. Nope, I don't do TikTok. The musically, all you kids are dancing to naked. No, that's also not that. <laughs> John's been a little bit on fire lately. You guys see his hits lately? Me? Yeah. I'm trying to figure what I hit lately. Didn't you just hit the drain? Oh, yeah, Mets. Yeah. Dude, none of us are lucky in my shit. My shit sucks. Nobody. Nobody's ever hit anything. Nope. Nobody. Charles, oh, you're the you're the luckiest motherfucker on the planet. Everybody in this group, I think you might actually be luckier than Aristotle. Ooh. Are we talking about the person in the group or the philosopher? <laughs> oh my god. Both. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure Aristotle got to like, you know, hook up with Alexander the Great, so Never mind. I'm done. Don't put me in time. <laughs> you guys, there is Mike, nothing you... to move on these. What's up? Are you li are you live right now? I can't find the video. Uh, yeah, I'm live for like seven minutes now. TJ's in it. Uh, Sports with Dorks is in it. Chris is in it. Kyle's in it. Let me see. Hold on. One. Oh, there it is. Okay, got it. Yep, you just got to be smarter than YouTube or Google, however you want to do it. Can't be smarter than my overlord, or else I would be the overlord. You would be the overlord? I don't think anyone should put you in charge of anything, Charles. Three's already taken. I'm in charge of a lot of things. <laughs> you are? Yeah. Charles in charge. Anyone else scared by that statement? That was low hanging <laughs> fruit. Ooh. Four. Four is open. Oh man, I get four. I wasn't feeling four, I was feeling six. Six looks good. All right, Keith. Two is taken. Four is taken. One is taken. One is taken. Six is not, Keith. Six! And then, Chris, that leaves you on spot lucky number seven. Now, since there isn't anything to swap to, I will I will allow trades. I will allow trades. And anyone who... Because I'm hosting this, obviously. Anybody who wants my spot, I will happily give it up. So, go. We'll start off with John. John, do you like where you're at, or would you like to try and trade or move somewhere else? Uh, I mean, if you're willing to trade four, I'll trade four for eight. All right. John wants spot four. I will give him spot four. Once again, spot eight is also open. I will trade it to anybody since I'm the host. That's 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 what I can uh, that's what I can dish out. <laughs> Chuck. So, so this Keith. is this is a game of pass the Hernandez. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's it's the pass the Hernandez. Use me, abuse me. Just don't call me twice. Chuck P. <laughs> are you liking spot two with your uh, your first pick, or um, do you want to offer a trade or move? Trade um, with yourself. Okay, so you're saying I'm in spot two? I would you're... like to be near... I'd like to be spot one near those cut cards, please. 
Who's who's in spot one? You're in spot one. Yeah, so you're good. <laughs> you're here and oh, you're okay, here. well you said I was in spot two. Yes, because we're talking <laughs> about spot two right now. You try to trade. Oh, okay. Me, spot dude. two, I would like to go who's uh who's spot eight right now? Spot eight, I'm spot eight. I'll take spot eight. For spot one or spot two? For spot two. Spot one stays where it is. Okay. So Chuck P. Moon. That's what I'd like. Spot two to go to spot eight. Okay. So I am now in spot two. We're going to go over to TJ. TJ, do you like spot three or would you like to move? Or I like for spot somebody to three. Drink? I'm right next to John. I'm happy with that. All right. TJ is happy with his half of John's sandwich. So I just want gonna... to get you in the middle of it, TJ. Chuck isn't moving from West. Uh, I'm just messing with you, man. <laughs> Isaiah, Isaiah, spot five all day long. He's staying. Okay, he says spot five. Lucky seven. Chris is staying in Lucky seven. Chief Keith, are you happy with spot six, uh, or do you want to try and trade somebody to spot six, or do you want spot two? Stay in spot six. All right. So I got used like a like a bicycle there for a minute. Is everybody good? If everybody is good, please put it. I want to see seven seven Fs in the chat. Yeah, seven that means Fs. seven Fs. That means Charles that you got to put it put two Fs in there. Press F enter F enter for both your spots. <laughs> or just put a fuck ton of Fs. That works too. Literal, literal, literal. Oh, fucker. I thought you meant. Seven S per person. Okay. Jeez. You're literally the only person that didn't understand how that goes. Only person. Just kidding. I One, think two, three, the box. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Which one do we want to flip first? Who wants to see theirs first? <laughs> Who wants to see theirs first? Uh, this is TJ. Show me. Show TJ me the money. says, show me the hey, money. TJ. I want to hear you scream in the basement. Yep. <laughs> if you want to be first, if, if you want if you want to start it off with show me the money, we have to hear it. Show me the money as loud as you can scream. <laughs> you're, you're doing it for the people, TJ. Just get yourself ready. <laughs> Sing it. <laughs> people are sleeping. I can't do it. <laughs> Could you could you whisper produce the money in an ocular fashion towards my retinas? There we go. To produce the money. <laughs> Sir, you. Why hit... is there so many awkward silence now? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm gonna keep staying. I'm gonna keep staying silent, so I don't. I don't want to wake up everybody in the house right now. Our Gothian Pixies would be our first card for TJ. Fudge, fudgicals. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Who want? Who wants their their Barry's card flip now? One. Show me one. Show you one. Yep. Let's see it. Goblin artisans. Ooh. Goblin what? Goblin artisans. Artisan. Those, those are about two $7 cards you pulled right there. Two $7 cards? Yeah, roughly. All right. Chris says, show me seven. Oh, no, he wants to be the seventh person flipped. Got it. The good luck thing. All right, who wants to be next? Shoot, just do eight. Let's get it over with. I see it, buddy. Dwarven Weaponsmith. <laughs> Not bad. Not, Not bad. bad, no. It's not the bad, no. got it.
show uh, sh show you guys mine next. All right. Yes. I want to see Keith's. <clears throat> That is a priest of Yogmoth. I is that I, yours, Mike? Yep, that's mine. Uh, that card looks dope as fuck. We'll enjoy it. Card looks dope as fuck. I'm happy with it. That's a dirty, dirty card. Yeah, that looks good. Four cards remaining. Who is next? You just put mine. Spot four. Spot four. Let's see what Jonathan has. Jonald Reagan. Dragon Engine. Is that the rare? No. It's a common. Ooh, who's got the rare? I don't think anyone's hit a hit hit yet. But... Again, this is like the dark. We could not have a uh, a higher end uncommon. It's completely possible. As a matter of fact, if we've already good. if we've already hit two uncommons, it's very likely we won't hit another one. All right, I'm just gonna rip the bandaid off. Isaiah, since you said I want to go last, you're going next. <laughs> Tablet of Epitire. Oof. That is the fifth least expensive card in the set. Right. He beat me up, he beat me up for least expensive so far. Oh, was uh, was Priest of Yogmoth a really bad hit? Uh, it was a little more than $2. All right. Tablet is one dollar and thirteen cent. Ooh, Chris. That's that's a. That's... Chris. Let's see it. Battering ram. Ooh. Oh, they might be battling out for the cheapest card there. And Keith. Keep Orcish mechanics. And another common. Tablet is 110. Tablet's 110. We have All of these tablet. tops are 110. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, get it. 110. Yep. Yeah. I mean, oh. uh, this pack wasn't no quite more. as bad as Charlie's the Dark pack, but... Well, well, it makes sense. You see, if you don't sell the tots, they are 110. You guys. Everybody here. Yeah. That's in this particular uh, game here. We're... Uh, We're gonna actually. I'm gonna flip this around so that one that that one will be mine. This is gonna go to you. 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 It can't. Cool. Thank you. It could. Ikatian Javelineers. Excuse my thanks, man. Homerid Spawning Bed. <laughs> oh, that's that is so ugly, it's awesome. Thalid. <laughs> I'm doing everybody a Thalid. Well, I, back in the day, I used to have a Thalid shooter. And, and Ikatin Priests. Ikatin Priests. 
Initiates of the e Ebon Hand. Ebon Hand? That's good. Is it? Mm hmm. That goes to Keith. Elvish Hunter. And Goblin Ch Ch Chirogian. Ch Ch I don't know what that is, but you know what? <laughs> we're we're gonna do that again. The 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 card that I saw was the uh, Brass Claw Orcs, but I'm sure that's nothing. So we're gonna do that one more time because I went to Pound Town, you went to Pound Town, we all went to Pound Town, and. Let's hope that Legends, when we fill it up, is a whole lot better. Because, uh, like, you know, I know that's the risk we take, especially with some of this vintage stuff. But, boy, that was, uh, Kevin wasn't lying when he said, dude, I will not be in, um, in, uh, in Antiquities unless I have to. And he said that because he said he's opened so much of it and gone to Pound Town every time he's never, ever opened a good pack of Antiquities. It, I mean, it's, it's all good. It's, 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 you asked me the, the, the seminal question the other night. It's like, would I rather do six packs or four packs for the same amount of money I'm doing one card? Just pick your poison. So I just busted both of the uh, Fallen Empires for you guys because you are now officially... Man, that totally looks like it should be an Arabian Nights card. Hand of Justice? How much are Arabian Nights packs? Uh, 4000 to 4500 I do have, if I want to... <laughs> oh, wow. Another Ikatan... Oh, wait. Another Ikatan Javelineers. I do have. Ta I've already talked to the guy. He said he'd be willing to work out a deal with me for. For. Uh, wow. Look at the roller marks on that. Do you guys see that? Do you see the, the dent in that card? Jesus. Ekatian Infantry. Uh, I, I can get my hands on one for about 2200 Um. Here's the thing you have to remember. Man, this whole pack is like that. That's rough. Spore Cloud. <laughs> Elven Fortress. That's nice, actually. I like the art on that. No, no, Bruce. There was, uh, there was no big hit. No big hit. Right now, I'm just giving some, some free stuff away to these guys. What are you guys talking about? I just pulled the fifth most expensive card in Fallen Empires at Hand of Justice. $5.18, oh. baby. Yeah! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's the rare. Order of Libertur. Now, I mean, the odds of not getting a good card in Arabian Nights is way slimmer than Antiquities, but that's also why it's so much more expensive. But, I mean... At, at, well, let's just say I can get it at 2200 bucks. Just uh, break even to be able to ship out to you guys. Um, boy, uh, 250 a person would put it two grand. 300 bucks a person is what it would be to bust a pack of uh, Arabian Nights. That seems a little bit rich. Yeah. Um, guys, I'm, I'm hitting the hay, uh, Mike. I will hit you up tomorrow with REM updates and take care of you, okay? Oh, dude, don't, don't sweat it. Love you to death, dude. I appreciate you for joining us tonight. This was super awesome regardless, guys. Don't, don't, don't take me not feeling super excited about this as I, I'm not excited about it. I just, I was really, really hoping for a huge hit. But, dude, that's, that's the name of the game. Are, that's the name of the yeah. game. You're the, literally the only channel on YouTube that's doing this. So, fucking props to you. Yeah, I love the thrill. Yeah, but here's the thing. At the same time, none of this shit happens without you guys. Like, legit, if you guys weren't going in on this stuff for these pack breaks, they wouldn't be happening. And, of course, we wouldn't be able to entertain the people who do watch us. Open and so are you safe. not entertained? <laughs> We're going to unionize? Is that what you're telling me to do, is to unionize the people? 
We, we need to unionize the... No. I don't know what that means, but no. Okay. But, Love you guys. I'll, I'll talk to you all. All right, Charles. You have a good one, bud. Later, Charles. It's always a good time when Isaiah is in, when I, uh, with Isaiah in the chat. <laughs> right. I'm really jacked to do this Legends pack. Like, uh, look at that thing. How many more spots you got left on that one? This one has five more spots. Four more spots. Five more spots, four more spots. Legends. Four more spots, because Alejandro took uh, spot six. So we got TJ, John, Kevin, Charles, and Keith, and Alejandro on this one here. Keith has already paid up on this one, but that's because uh, uh, we, we work stuff out every once in a while where we trade, you know, battle stuff for this, that, and the other. I really wanted to get in on his VIP battle he had for Modern Horizons, so we just kind of exchanged spots on nice. stuff. And you guys are more than welcome to do that. I don't trade cards for spots, but like packs if you want to do, you know, if you do a battle, do like whatever. To me, it just so you know, it's not because I'm playing favorites, guys. It's because the way PayPal works, I'd rather not be shuffling money back and forth. Like, why send me money today when I'm going to send you money tomorrow? Does that make sense? Yeah, exactly. You know, it just, let's let's not play the, the shifting around game like that. But, um hence why I worked that out with Keith because, you know, it, I would have just been sending him money back, or he would have been sending, you, you get it, whatever. Anyways. Yeah. Long story short. We, we... What the fuck was that? My roommate is being loud. Yeah. Everybody yell for his roommate. <laughs> hey! hey. Oh. <laughs> but the biggest reason I'm excited for this Legends packs in all 100% honesty is because this is the only one I can tell you for sure, 100%, without a doubt. One thousand, no matter how good all these other packs look, this is the only one for sure I can tell you can't be searched. And that's because they fucked up the printing on the label. And I'm not saying the guy sent me searched packs. By all means, they all look great. It's just this one has that 100% confidence in me because of the way they fucked up printing the label. You can't push the cards up high enough to look at him. That's right. It's got that juice engine in it. Juice engine what? What did you just con me into saying? The juice engine. It's like Sounds... the iconic magic card. Oh, Keith, is that the one I made you the uh, the play mat of? It's like the, the big green devil Holden. With the nose piercing holding up the little dude, like he's gonna eat him. Yeah, that's the uh, playmat. That's the playmat, dude. Yeah. He's not in uh, Arabian Nights. Yeah, he's not in Legends. What? Oh man. All right. Well then, I'm in, in Arabian <laughs> Nights if you ever get it. <laughs> that's, that's so that was so awesome. Oh, yeah. man. Legends has the uh, Tabernacle, Chains of Mephistopheles. Moat, the abyss, stuff like that. Sylvan's crying, mana drain, all those cards. Sylvan's are crying. crying. That's Miriam, bro. You're thinking Sylvan <laughs> Library. Sylvan Library. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Still, all those cards are. <laughs> all those cards are two hundred plus dollars. All those cards are uh, two hundred plus dollars. But all right, guys, gents, ladies, if you joined in the chat, I am done for the night. I have got some stuff. I lost a pack of antiquities on a coin flip. Had a candle in it. Really, Kyle? Really? That's rough, dude. But we're going to close it off like that for tonight. Oh. Thank you so much. for. Well, who's going to say what? Nope, just saying goodnight all. Oh. So, good night to everybody. Uh, I hope you get lots of sleep. This one I am definitely going to hold off until... Uh, until Sunday for us. So we got plenty of days to fill up this pack. Um, no big deal. It'll probably be the only thing I do Sunday. I lie. I've been thinking about going and buying that box of Icoria and doing that Sunday too, but shh, don't tell anybody. But, shh. Exactly. But no, that was, uh, that was awesome. It was terrifying and uh, also very cool all at the same time. These packs scare the snot out of me. Also, 
last thing but not least we have to do we have to deal with this first actually guys I lied who who deserves the antiquities uh, pack Keith Keith yeah who pulled the the worst the worst card out of antiquities uh, it was either spot uh, five or six, I think. Uh, we have Tablet of Epitur, Orcish Mechanics, and Battering Ram. I thought Battering Ram was the worst. Yeah, I mean, they're all pretty bad. <laughs> Keith gets the Antiquities pack. Keith and Isaiah, or Chris and Isaiah both get a Fallen Empire's sleeve. And then packs, I'm going to give you this. This right here, because I feel like your rare um, deserves to be hidden in it and never pulled out again. <laughs> That's fair. So, but now. You guys are the best. Seriously, all of you have a good night. If you guys want to chat some more, uh, let me know. Or just chat me up. I don't care. I'm actually down to hang out in Discord if you guys want. I'm just going to be working on stuff. I'm going to take dogs and stuff like that out. But if you guys are bored and you still want to chat, I'm probably just going to stay in the Discord. So, But I am killing the live stream right now. See you guys. Good freaking night. Um,